Number 51 is Kim to New York. Their clientele to me is really like the urban woman who's always on the go. Therefore, their design is yes, beauty, yes, style, but more so practicality. Number 52, the Monet brand. Peugeot Bassa, they are based in London, they deliver worldwide. Their design is more of a crochet, knit type of pattern. Therefore, if that's what you are into, then Peugeot Bassa is definitely the place where you should go shop for that type of handbags. Zashado is a Nigerian brand that specializes in leather pieces. Hura, their beaded handbag collection is so freaking cute. But they also sell other type of handbags, but they also sell shoes and accessories and believe it or not, hair and body products. Boussoiri is a Senegalese brand. Agnès Badou, another African brand that sells very, very, very pretty handbags. Three Fairfax is specialized in leather goods. Unfortunately, they do not have batch products available it's when you order something that's when they start working on that something that you had ordered therefore there will be delays in um, receiving the products so make sure that if you do buy from them that you buy from them in advance if you need it for a gift or Christmas or whatever. Gregory Silvia is a luxury brand that is founded by Gregory the husband and Terry the wife. Um, they said that their focus is really the consumer, their needs, what makes them comfortable. Therefore you can expect to see a lot of everyday bags that are very practical that can be used to carry basically everything on their website. Rich Mensa I'm not sure how to pronounce the next one, but who know it? Who know it? They are Ren, located in Ethiopia, and they are very known for their versatile, classic leather goods. Number 63, Petit Courage. Gorgeous handmade bags. But unfortunately, it's not everyday bags. It's more so like for a night out, a get together, it's not something that you can buy to go to work and to go just do your everyday things basically. Number 64 is one of my favorite brand ever, Vive. They are known for designing handbags with a, with a pyramidal shape. Very pretty. You should definitely check out Vive, it's one of my favorite and the quality is top notch. So and Rosé, their design you can tell is really rooted in the African culture, you can tell, but it's so beautiful. Okapi designed some of the most beautiful and luxurious pieces. You can not only find handbags, but you can also find accessories on their website. Next, William Okpo. If you're looking for handbags with a plate design, William Okpo is definitely the website where you should go for those type of handbags. Ace and Prince, they are very known for their shopping handbags. Abu, they only sell leather pieces, but statement leather pieces. You, another website where you're not gonna find stuff for like everyday use is really statement leather pieces accessories handbags etc men not only they sell handbags for men and women but you also have the opportunity to design your own handbags and i think that is so cool zashado is number 72 i believe i think so yeah 72 is zashado erin is the next designer that i would love to introduce ax or aaks i'm not sure how they want to pronounce it. Their handbags is in crafting Ghana. Very beautiful handbags. I can guarantee you that their pieces will turn heads. I promise you that. Asata Maise. Etana New York, Floresca Isme, she not only designs handbags, but she also have her own fragrances available. Well, I think it's only home fragrances, not perfume, but candles or reindeer diffusers. Sassy Jones and Shekudo, two brands that really focus on statement pieces only. Not everyday pieces, but statement pieces only. I think I name a couple of them in this video already, but I really wanted to let that be known. The look, the look kind of remind me of Saturday House. We can actually talk about them next. The look and Saturday House, both of them, they have similar handbags on which they wrote um, something that just to make a statement. For example, Saturday House, 
they are very known for you fake like this Birkin, you fake like this Chanel, you fake like that, that, that um, type of bag. They also have other bags with other bold statements written on it. Same thing also for the look. Lotus and Lane. I'm not sure if it is Hilly Jene, Hilly Jene, Hilly Jene, and I apologize, but they sell bags for basically all every type of looks. Whether you're looking more for casual looks, for work, for a night out with friends, um, for a date night, they kind of sell every type of bag. So you can find something that you like for sure on their website. Whoop is a UK brand that sells cute evening bags. I was surprised to find out that the designer was black owned though. When you look at... <sighs> next. Let me just move on to the next. Flat 15. Because Flat 15 is really similar to Whoop when it comes to their design. They only sell mini bags, both of them. Perfect for an evening night out. Farm Studio. Demi handbags. Um, they are bags that are actually created when you place your order therefore you can expect some delays we projects um, based in Amsterdam very cute bags one of my favorite Congo haul to me their design or to die for I really love this brand my killing shop their bags are designed in France but they are created handcrafted put together whatever you want in Morocco what les essential if you're looking for everyday bags that are timeless, that are practical, that are elegant. According to me, um, what Les Essentiels is the place to go shop. They are a Canadian brand located in Montreal to be precise and they do sell, they sell more than bags. They sell clothes, shoes, but if you're looking for everyday timeless goods, you should definitely check out What Les Essentiels. I would definitely recommend them for sure. Line A Jack is next on my list. Nod or the Street Lagos. You can tell it's a brand that is Lagos. Edas. If you're looking for gorgeous, unique belt bag, you should definitely check out Edas Studio. But they do have other type of bags for sale for sure. But I really love their belt bag. Siriaco. Siriaco to me is more fun. Like when you're looking at their bag, yes, it is beautiful, but it's like fun, cute. It's really like, I love this brand, I really love their bags. And Yvonne Kone. Yvonne Kone, their brand is located in Denmark. I'm not sure if the designer is from Denmark though, um, but their brand is located there. And they really sell everyday tote bags, everyday mini bags, shoes, accessories, so a little bit of everything when it comes to fashion. Um, but Yvonne Kone is another designer, another brand that I really want to recommend. I truly hope that you enjoy watching this series just like I enjoy putting it together. I enjoy doing my research, looking for the pictures, editing this video and I truly hope that it was entertaining and that you learn of a new designer after watching this video. I do not know everybody, I do not know everything, so if therefore there is a brand that I did not mention that you would love for me to discover or if you are an emerging designer and you would love for me to know about your work, please let me know in the description below. More people are gonna read it and know about your work as well. Now, this series was really focused on black designers, but this is not my, what my channel is about only. Yes, I wanted to do this because I'm black. And also because I wanna promote more black designers, but there are also called other cultures that I will definitely talk about in this on this platform. I really hope that you enjoyed that video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.